is Sunday and just wanted to provide a happy update. Yesterday morning I went to go see a house that is three bed, one bath and normally before when I was going to see all my other places, whether it was a condo or a house, I always spotted something right when I got there that turned me off from the place and every time that happened I felt like I was being overly picky or just like my standards were too high. So yesterday when I went it was really interesting where the neighborhood I was driving by going to the house was really quiet, pretty calm. There weren't many people outside and there was also a lot of street parking. So right off the bat I just got a really good feeling about it. When I had spoken to the landlord on the phone, he just seemed like a really understanding person. He cared a lot about the right tenant instead of price and just making sure he could get someone in there as fast as possible. So based off that, he met me, showed me the place. It was really spacious. Um, it's going to be really exciting having all that space to myself. There's also a small back area. He lives in a guest house right behind the house. Um, and it is a little bit close, however, he travels a lot for work and he also travels a lot for pleasure. So he probably won't be around very often and he probably understands that as a landlord, there's really no reason to bother your tenant even though you're so close. But there's a decent amount of space in the back, um, so if he's not around or if he's just inside, I could let Riley run around, so that would be a lot of fun. Um, it's also really reasonably priced. I mentioned in a previous video that I pay roughly like $21.10 right now. Um, that includes parking and renter's insurance. I don't actually know if I need renter's insurance for this next place, but it's going to be $21.75. I get more space. I get the environment around me that I want, which is generally just quiet. Um, I won't see homeless people around regularly when I take Riley on walks. There are times where I walk by somebody and they kind of just make noises at me or they howl because she's a husky and that stuff is incredibly annoying and I just ignore it but I really don't want to have to deal with that on a regular basis so I won't have to anymore which is great. Um, I already put in my 30 days with my property manager. Well, it's more like I emailed him over the weekend asking if I could move for 30 days but chances are he won't let me. So. Um, yeah, I was initially kind of concerned about that in terms of the landlord wanting to hold the place for a whole month without any income, but he seems like he really wants it to work out, so I'll see what the property manager says tomorrow because, you know, it's, these people don't really want to respond to emails on the weekend even though it literally takes no effort. So, um, that's super exciting. I can't wait to have more space. I actually think I plan on having a cat room because there's three bedrooms. One will be where I sleep. The other one I want to make into a small gym for myself. And then the third one, I'm probably just going to put the cats in there during the day. That way they don't track litter out into the rest of the house. And so Milo can like play with mice and not knock them under things. Um, he can be as active and excited as he wants to be. I'll probably put a cat tree in there, I'll, maybe a pretty big one. That way they can have a lot of fun in their little room. And uh, he will also be able to roam in his room while I'm sleeping and he won't create noise and be destructive or anything because he tends to get on my counters or he gets on my desk, find something, choose it up. He's still really destructive. Job front still finding stuff. I am in the early stages of some interviews, but they're kind of slow. It's around the holidays, so I kind of I won't expect much. And yesterday I also went hiking very briefly in the afternoon. Uh, I went to see my knee doctor around noon and he said that I could probably space out my appointments with him and also that he wants me to try to challenge it more, so he wants me to go on more hikes. And as long as I don't have really extreme reactions in terms of uh, discomfort or throbbing in my kneecap, then I should try to make sure I do all my exercises and then keep going on hikes to make sure that I'm not staying limp and 
you know, relaxing all the time. I have to kind of push it a little bit. So went on a short hike to Cal's Mountain. It's pretty close by to here. There were a fuckload of people there, so many people. And it was a good day to not bring Riley because I still have a really tough time going on hikes without her because I feel like, oh, I put in the effort to drive there and it is an off-leash opportunity for her. So I always really want to take her. Yeah, the weekend's almost over. I don't have Friday off after Thanksgiving, but I don't have anything exciting for Thanksgiving. I actually think I will probably hike because everyone will be with their families and I will be out there in the wilderness by myself. So that will be excellent. Um, yeah, there's some Dota tonight. It's a minor in China. So it's starting around six to eight my time. I still have to go grocery shopping today. It's actually a really nice day out and I haven't spent too much time outside. I walked Riley in the morning and then I've been watching Dota, playing Dota and that's it. So yeah. I am really excited to move. I can't wait to get out of here. I hate this place. Yeah, good things are coming. Well, just so you guys know, Look at that water flicking up. Up on Reddit right now, if you'd like to give your suggestions on the absolute garbage like yesterday, please increase the quality. We would really appreciate it because Bird actually reads every single one. He's a real stick. I read like 10, and I'm like, I give up. Bird read the entire thing and got to with him. God bless that thing. So once you buy a simple Lincolns, it basically guarantees that you never have to go back uh, uh, to the fountain ever again if you're doing it correctly. So it doesn't really matter actually that your ultimate can't oh, um, send you back to fountain and uh, back to lane again. It's actually just very abusive. Look, water all my it's children. Yeah, it's awesome. more it's time. It'll get there. So my guy's gonna get a little bit of bonus, uh, bonus money from that, and he uses Scorcher. I mean, the, the new Warfling ultimate is basically a I want to use your basic skills and then turn back to Warfling again. This is how it should be thought. But we shall see. Five K advantage for optic. In the meantime, I got stop. And, and Sumail's on good farm levels as well. He's only. Okay, so a couple days ago, I mentioned that Riley was still getting sores around her neck because of the contact points on her collar. So before, there would be two longer ones over here. And then it would pretty much look like a long tip and then at the end it would look like a nipple where there would be one tiny bit sticking out at the end that would kind of penetrate her hairs better because she has thick long hair, she has a really thick coat and the hair pretty much dampens <laughs> the hair pretty much dampens a lot of the stem so um, I needed it to make sure that anytime she was wearing it and we were out in the wild or if she was off leash, I needed to make sure that the stem would be felt by her at the proper level. Otherwise it would be completely pointless and it would be kind of dangerous if it wasn't fit properly for her and I needed to give a proper correction for something and she, you know, would ignore it. So anyways, um, since she was getting sores, I decided to get these cover pads, you can see that they're rounded at the tip. Focus. You can see that they are rounded at the tip and they are also closer together. So I do believe that the feeling she feels from this is different than what she used to feel because it used to be two spaced further apart, but now there's four and they're closer together. But um, from what I can tell, I shaved her neck down a little bit. That way that these could be right directly almost on her skin. Like there is a little bit of hair still coming out. I didn't shave her down to the skin, but shaved it so that this would be sitting directly on the hair right next to the skin. And that way I think that it is working properly for her. Um, I do think that this could be my solution. I can't imagine her getting sores from this. I might just have to once in a while wipe it, keep it clean, make sure that, I don't know, it's not dirty because it is resting on her neck for a large part of the day, so it could possibly have some sort of reaction, but most likely I think this will solve my issue. But yeah, just a quick update. This is the dog life.